Uh, definitely so. I think coming into this one with both teams towards the top of the group, winner takes it all here tonight. We'll get themselves a spot deep within the playoffs. We got the 1x bet onto the top of your screen there, seeing Heroic are the favorites here, and they have shown up big time with their two new additions. Something on the CT side of Mirage. I mean, the fact Yanko just put it so bluntly, you know, he said a team that made two roster changes has a better choice of map pool. Like, that's that's the, a perfect sign of how quickly these guys have adapted to two new names in the roster. You're Speaking of, yeah, shush, oh. he's so consistent. Every pistol I've watched, I've watched about three Mirage games out of Heroic. He's always found one on that CT USB round and Flame challenging out Refresh. He's actually reacted in time. Oh, Saves the day, stays alive, and now this crossfire is just pinning them to walls. Poison's gone too. Config and JKS to clutch up. Lots of work to do here. They both have Kevlar. Confit gets that bomb down. There's a win. Needs him to defend against oh, short. Oh, oh. Tessa spamming away. JKS gets one and Dico's oh, the other. The Glock, no less. Oh, he's lost his teammate. Really gets awkward now for Juzzy. Shush with three. Hunting is fourth, just over the box. They find the elevation. The plant's good for Justin, and he's already managed to pay quite oh. a price. Takes one down for his troubles. An aid on his toes, though, and converted Heroic. Takes ET pistol. Yes, yeah, so this map right here is one that Complexity love to lean on into. And Heroic, sure, they've lost it once. They've won it uh, in quite the fashion just the other day. It's a map that I think, you know, their CT side of gambles, which we will see a lot of, they can be the undoing of a team, right? I don't think you can rotate around as easily on a map like Mirage as you, you know, when you go for the gambles on Overpass, you've got plenty of time to stack four players B and rotate back in time. Mirage, if they gamble incorrectly, that could be the key to Complexity getting a couple of cheeky rounds here. But I will say from the eye test so far, those gambles, it's not a 50-50. I feel like they're tossing that coin and they're getting it right most of the time. Yeah, they have been having some insane reads. So Cadian on point, as highlighted by the desk, Cadian and Blame F in game leaders of both these teams have been playing. Are you up to Casper? Strike. What's he got for us here? Some Dane on Dane crime, as Trace described. He's going to get one, maybe even a second. There we have it. Bob's your uncle. Just the Deagles should be our second. Shush. Make short work of JKS. Looks like they want to play with that aggressive style here, Heroic out the gate. We've seen multiple different faces. That in-your-face disrespectful style, as well as the sit back and let you Take it nice and slow, waiting for that aggression that may never come. This time around, Kadian, with that fight. I love that he's just evaporated as well. Like, job done. Yeah, no extra space. Nothing. Round one. Just, yeah, that, there's a feeling of helplessness attached to those quick casualties. Because these Deagle rounds, make no mistake, these Deagle rounds can be threatening. Just not this, not this heroic. Not today, it seems. Four M4s, a couple of SMGs. It is that perfect concoction of aggressive and high kill rewards, as well as those M4s to keep this full AK round at bay. 10 seconds on the timer. What's the call, do you reckon? Yeah, keeping those SMGs right now, they have a few options here. This is Cadian in the replay there, an underpass. He could go aggressive for another maneuver like this, but he has spawned uh, a little bit further back of the pack, so he's soloing over towards the A bomb site here as they leave on in going into our first gun round. It's a three-man B lean, so those gambles, we're seeing them immediately here with the first gun round. Yeah, they'll boost him up, try and get early info as he swings across. Tucked in, in Very time. quick, Ooh, two both rifles. Both of them, dude, this is quite the call. And they've already drawn blood. Pull the ripcord, I think. Deep Smoke arrives in Heroic with this aggression to start off our first map. They immediately pivot. They've locked this down, they've smoked it off, they've got a kill, and they've rotated players away from this B bomb site. So they're now dynamic, they're expecting to hit dude. towards A. Already floating around, keeping the CTs constantly unpredictable. In fact, that's going to swap out a weapon. Why not? The smallest of margins. Refresh down to 26. He'll take an SMG to B for his role. Kind of love it. Yeah, well, the fact that they can really put the brakes on now and hold on to this utility until complexity shows some inkling of where they want to go. Blame's still dealing with that B push. You've got Config tucked in towards top mid, Poison in tow, and then JKS very low, loud through T-spawn is going to regroup. So needing to take some territory with 55 seconds left. Okay, good smokes in middle. That denies a lot. They'll be walking on up on these. Blame lurking in the apartments. Poison surging forward, trying to seize the gap in the smoke. Oh, is he actually going through this? Double nades. Yeah. There's a chance. A hard duel. Shush has been quite a thorn in many teams' sides on this CT angle, and Poison threatens. It's going to be a B split here. Tries to sell it, keep the feet planted of the A players, and there is two there. Refresh still has a Molotov for this. Damage. JKS is in dire need of some help. Poison can't swing in in time. Damage as well from the bench. Stout. Two kills to Stown. Maybe even a third. He can't find him. JKS continues to contribute. Refresh makes the MP9 sing, and it looks like Heroic have done enough. Poison's changed my mind. 10 HP doesn't look promising. 10 seconds. 
as much time as he does health. I think it's time he gets the hell out of there and he's jumping straight on in to another frag from Cadian. Three to his name, get to see him fall and even upgrades for free as well. Yeah, that works out perfectly, right? Those MP9s, they get to upgrade. They only lost two casualties and now complexity after another early death have to be scratching their head. The money bonus isn't there. There's no plant. They can't get that residual money coming on through to help them stay competitive. But the Deagles, those pesky Deagles, they're out again. Configure blame with the head armor. Light utility for JKS and Rush. Just some smoke. So if they can get a pick, there's something for Complexity to start working with here. We were talking about the threat of the Deagle rounds. Let's see if Poison can prove it to be true. Pays up quite a heavy price for the peek through the flames. Kadian has beheaded Config on the aggress. Shuts down mid. Three, swinging out through that ramp smoke. I don't think Shush has the info here. There's an element of surprise. Now he does. Quick reactions, though, and Kadian precise from the stairs. They're just picking apart. One takes a shot. The other tucks in. Back and forth we go. Like a line of muskets. Oh, barrage of nades there. Refresh through the smoke. JKS goes down, and that is going to be the fourth round for Heroic. So quick stuff. I think we might see the AWP come out on Poison here. He does have money to do so. And with this, maybe a change of pace from complexity. We've already seen aggression out of Heroic on that uh, eco round or anti-eco round, as it were. The aggressive with the rifles, with the two boosted up towards B apps. Might want to put the brakes on here, complexity, just see if they want to throw any more aggression. But this is where Heroic have yeah. the option. Maybe we hold on to util. Maybe we sit right on back. Really nice for Frankie as well to poke the bear. Config, king of the mirage. Questioning that. We'll see if he can prove that namesake true. Blame changes the game. Finds an early frag. Rush to be pushed, though. And he's Double. already got his nades out. Gets pants by refresh, red cheeks, and a four on four. Oh, JKS was trying to take some space back there off that aggression. The smoke denies it. He'll have to put the brakes on the Look rest of his teammates. here, straight up towards B. No info. Kadian waits and blame. Beheads. Two frags already from the leader. Leading by example. It looks like Heroic are being shaken, but Shush and Stown try and change the dialogue. It's enough to make the round interesting. Shush, however... They know exactly where he is. JKS just died to him. So look at that. Poison, poised, dead. Nice round for Complexity, and that's all off the in-game leader. Blame. Good spawn, straight out middle, gets the opening kill, and they reacted very quickly there. As soon as they knew that A ramp aggression, it was on to B. The rotations would be miles away. So a nice on-your-feet call there from Complexity, and that's something we know Heroic can do well. Let's see if Complexity can keep up with the smooth moves of Cadian here today. See, he has to push to disrespect that smoke, right? There's so much contact on mid, so much being called. JKS takes a risk, pushing a smoke, gets him a kill, and helps him secure the round there. Four to one, guns back out. He smokes. Nice. Refresh and Shush and a different push. It's Shush. Half damage. Blame with just the Galil wins the duel. More impact from Blame F. Yeah, another entry. Huge from the in-game leader here. Highlighted on the desk. One of the players to watch out for in this group alongside Acadian. So A smokes. That's it. They even find the casualty, but they do seem to want to decelerate here. Yeah, I think because of that early info that Blame was in Palace and not JKS is info that it's a different looking round. If it was JKS who got that killer bet, yeah, okay, they're just doing their normal. But the fact it was Blame is enough information for Complexity to call cancel and look somewhere else. Back towards B they go. Four players now up through the apartments. Nice and silent. Need to clear out all their corners in case of this aggression and catching on up will be JKS. They execute on the site right now. There is a bit of a gap for this. Cadian will have to pivot with the AWP. Some well-placed smokes, which Complexity have plenty of. Ooh, there's we'll deny zero him anything. noise here, Chad. So this is going to come as quite the surprise. Cadian does start to hear the pins pulled on the flames and indeed pulls the trigger onto oh. one in a second. Rush taken down before his feet can touch the ground. Cadian's not done. Neither's Tessus. Rips them out of this round before they can even begin. Well handled there by Katie, and I saw so much utility there, and I understand why Complexity went for a contact play, yeah. because they just evaporated away from that A bomb site. But by not using their utility, they gifted this opportunity for Katie and to be able to pluck away three easy kills. <sighs> not flash, not smoke, nothing in his way, and they've jumped out dry here, not expecting him to be there. The problem with Heroic is, all the data we're learning about this new roster has been during the Pro League, right? They played that qualifier just before there's a couple of extra maps, but they're able to stay on their toes. So right now, it's difficult to be able to uh, counter call against all all these different plays and setups and gambit stacks that they go for. Complexity humbled, take their first time out, and we'll be down to the pistol. So a round where I, I swear to God, like most of the players there had like three nades on their belt. They were carrying around so much utility. That one is going to hurt the bank balance in a big way, and it's already reflected here going into round seven. Quite the start from Heroic. Can Complexity make anything of this? This is like the third kind of diggly Kevlar round we've seen out of the Colt squad. Bit more util this time. Run boost. Run boost. Well. It's down to be tested and spots it.
So almost giving them mid control here, Heroic. They're allowing Config to take control. They know there's a Glock out there. You can do a lot with your smokes once you have mid control. So many options. Sounds a bit of a nuisance in this position. He is just on his own, right? He has to control connector and window. There's two players on the B site, two players tucked in towards A. True. A lot of pressure on Stown. So there is a gap. It all comes down to timing. And well, I don't think Complexity are really forcing the issue here right now. They're just waiting for any peaks, any heads for the Deagles to lop off. Another smoke towards connector. That'll buy another 20 seconds. God, he is really floating, isn't he, Stown? Between his responsibilities. This could be the first for Rush. He's going to have a look in here, Stown. Maybe Trying to find a gap. Yeah, that's what he's hoping for. It's nothing. Nothing. Oh, he got a little bit. Something. They're already up. You'll hear it. Kadian on the AWP. Has missed his shot, but he's got Shush. The ever-reliable Shush. More damage. Catching some... Spray through the boards. He still lives to tell the tale, and we do see six for Heroic. Relatively neat and tidy. Deagles fall flat. 007 for Rush. Yeah. Yes, Brosnan's given him a call. Well, Poison will get that AWP out again. Maybe he can try and have some impact with it this time around. Let's see if Complexity go for something all in early or back to one of these default spreads, because it hasn't really felt like they've been able to play their rounds so far. Truth. It's either been dictated to them, or they've been lulled into a false sense of security late. Two quick smokes toward mid. And I am a bit of a Bulgarian Flary Orpa fanboy. Cirque and Poison have definitely besotted me many times in the past. But no, look at this move. They're calling like the aggressive CT Poison's halves dead. I dream of. Poison's dead? Yeah, 100% booked. We were just talking about him. Now he's, he's got his back looking. turned. He's knife out. Eesh. Heroic mixing it up. But Config with the most crucial frag of the round so far. He's taken down the thorn in this A site. Should get easier from now on. Util will be dropped. Bombs in there. In limbo, in fact. Rush has yet to cross. This is where the smokes are being deployed, hoping to get that plomb. Plomb? It's known as a bomb. But get it down regardless. Oh, and, spam ooh, yep, here. spammed, but the bomb's down ticking. This is Colt seizing control of the round. It's going to get chaotic. So many mollies for this retake. Issue with connector. Solved by config. Cadian has the Util, as you discussed. The incendiaries will come out. JKS likely going to be forced to fight. Config keeps himself disconnected Dave. from the pack, and they've called it. Oof. Fight or flight, they opt for the latter. Uh, that all came down for, to Config's kill. And, well, he only got two, but the one in Connector more so than the one onto A, right? The A gave them the avenue to get that bomb down and at least start it to look a little bit threatening. But as soon as they pushed through Connector, you could see they were trying to delay that plant, make sure that they weren't going to get faced from all these different angles. You kind of want to let the, the, the storm subside, right, before you get that bomb down. Doing so seems simple and uh, Tessas will actually drop with the bomb there so a, a save gone wrong but seriously I mean I was trying to communicate my feelings about the way Heroic have called the first nine rounds of play and it's just these are the, the dreamy calls you know too aggressive underpass to punish the B solo orp like mm. these things happen in matchmaking you're like wow that would never happen in a pro game but you are you're having the audacity to call these kind of strats yeah, the fact it's working for them early here means we may see them even double down a little bit harder as this game goes on. Stown's picked up that secondary AWP Look and Canadian he's aggressive he pushed again. Palace and they continue to do so this time with the AWP. JKS and Blame, a new partnership and one I'm very excited for, but Cadian's about to rip one brick out of this. Bang! Blame's gone. First bullet fired across Mirage and already a casualty for complexity to overcome. What does that tell again? It's Blame in Palace, so they know something's a little bit different. First it was Shush. Last time we saw this, they just pushed in. He won his duel and disappeared. Blame gone. And so is half of their health. Good grief. Good gracious complexity. They want to, they continue to feel the burn. Look at Cadian. Jumps over. Jumps back in. This is ridiculous. Rush is there waiting. A crucial frag, but the bomb still needs to go down, Chad. And it will be in the open. Utility minimal. Not a smoke in sight. Tessus wins his duel, albeit at a heavy burden now of 15 HP. This is so hard to get back into for complexity. How do they cross this void? Config. It has to be config. Stown holds the line and he hits his orb shot. That should be enough to contribute. Nice elevated angle poison though. Double peak, double trouble. Seven for heroic. And again, these rounds are ending with 50 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it's quite quick stuff out of complexity here. And I'm not sure if they're being forced into it faster than they would like. But as soon as Kadian gets that kill, once again, we know the tell. 
The default is traditionally JKS up in towards apps on his lonesome. They go a bit more default spread across the map like we talked about with all these teams. But this was an all-in. Complexity had the intention to hit towards A. They want to condition that bomb site and show that they can do it. But as soon as you lose a number early, as soon as Heroic don't allow you to set up with all five players, well, things change. And so Heroic now, seven to two, looking very oh, good. Oh, oh, okay. Timing favors Cadian. Smoke blooms and Blame secures the doom of Stown. A casualty now for Heroic. First blood drawn, and again it comes from the in-game leader of Complexity. One of their two rounds was a double entry from the same man. I think if Complexity convert this, all three of the rounds they will have won would have come off Blame F entry kills, which is not traditionally where we see Blame F. He's normally doing the clutching. This will come down to timing. Look how much harassment there is here. Tessa spots one. JKS is still close. Ugh, not a fun position to be in if you're uh, the B-Apps lurk. Deep smoked off and no idea how many people are going to be awaiting you as it fades. Are they really pushing the smoke? This is so risky. What are they doing? They're calling this complete balls to the wall game of Counter-Strike and they may even start fast flanking if they go. Oh my god, they are. They're looking and they're heading towards A. Shush pushed up on ramp. He is a lone defender. Kadian will be arrive at CT as oh, fast as he w. can, but this fast flank is loud and already Shush holds the line. Converts onto Rush. Refreshes flank is so swift. Finds one. Just a tiny bead of Config's head in the distance on the bench. Elevated just enough. Shush survives as this blame push is still shaping up. It starts to fade now. Blame lingers on Tetris, but Shush is holding the perfect line for this. And it's another clean round from Heroic. They are looking Ooh. like a refined, delicate wine of Counter-Strike goodness. Yeah, and another timeout now from Complexity. They had just been pushed, poked, prodded all across the map, and that was even with an opening kill again. So they were unable to convert this time Complexity after getting the freebie in middle. Shush is a fantastic pickup, or at least he's showing to be within these early stages, right? Solid as a bloody rock on that A-bomb site. And uh, yeah, I'd be taking a timeout too if I'm Complexity, because every turn, every choice you seem to make, there's either a push, you're getting picked off, you go for an execute, you take a lot of damage. Nothing seems to be really working so far. Now, with the money where it is, we're talking 3.5, 4.2. We're, we're not around a full investment mark, but what we are around is a Tech 9 Mac 10 Bruh, fast round. I really swear, fight. Heroic's buy is about to tell the story of how damn confident and good it's looking. I think this is a double or triple AK. Like, oh. they could not be any, in any better position. Everyone's got a kit. Kadian's not treating himself to one. Rush is very proud of him. Okay, here we go. It's, it's like a budget gun round. It's like, let's just get the equivalent. Oh, he didn't go guns. double up. Okay, it was just the M4, but regardless, it is only up against this half by quasi, if you will. Fast from Rush, very fast from Rush. He's gobbled up a flash, but he's in, and this a could be space. an element of surprise here. Back turned to his adversary at the moment. He finds refresh, or at least his bullets. Everyone's here from Heroic. Yeah, and they're already dying. It's not going to be a fast plan. JKS is scared to punch in the digits and blame at least one, an AWP, and a lot of time. Well, you may as well draw this out. With a minute and 15 seconds left on the clock, you have that picked up AWP. You even have head armor. Go and try and win this round. Do, do whatever you can because you really need rounds at this point, Complexity. And yeah. Blame F, he knows it better than anybody. Give it a whack. This is going to be a difficult angle to clear for him, right? He has the AWP. He won't expect the space that his teammates just flooded out of to already be taken. I think Stown's just going to catch him here. Not I don't think Blame is. Blame's a smart cookie. This. He's a smart cookie. He'll clear his corners. He knows what Heroic are playing like right now. Doesn't help him out too much. He cleared it. He did. Nine for Heroic here on Complexity's map pick. Chad, this is this is a foreboding scoreline. Yeah, very, very quick stuff. And I, I think if you look at the Complexity game the other day against Big when they were getting blown out of the water, maybe we can start having a few issues creep in. Unless we get a showstopper performance from the likes of Config, maybe Poison shows up, he doesn't have the AWP right now, and gets them a big multi-kill, can fire up that squad. Heroic are just playing some inspired CS here. Now they've got that double op you were talking about. Yeah, there we go. It was just one round too early out yeah. in the future. It couldn't even be any better. Cadian flashed off as config cross. Two from Complexity looking to test middle. Cadian will fire off the warning shot, but mid control is theirs. Blaine confirms it as he arrives through under. So this is their default spread. We're seeing it without the AWP come into play. This molly is great from Cadian. That's going to disrupt config. We'll have to dump his smoke. Oh, he was about to smoke window as well. So he's forced that smoke out of config, and it does mean that Cadian will have vision should he require. That may slow them down mid. Poison was there as well with the bomb, so... 
Kenny's just moving towards B. So he's constantly searching. This Look how disruptive this kid is. He's all over the place. And he might even find it. It's a solo apps walk from Rush, and he will not be expecting Kadian, who's just been firing off shots in middle, to perhaps be going for an Aggie walk. Oh. Okay, mid starting to move. Rush is on his way. Kadian just tries oh. to hold the line. It wasn't far off, you know, but that's going to bait Tessis in nicely. Rush is not looking for that. Not expecting that swing from the Prodax corner. Regardless, the bomb has progressed into A. It's down. Shush. Not ready. Not ready at all. And this wave crashes upon the rocks of A. Two frags. Kadian just with one on the way out. Looks like we have our third complexity. Contest through mid. A late A finish. All right. Well, they're over towards the B side. Rush might be able to start cutting this rotation off, but it still looks like complexity are worried for them coming for a late retake here. We can clearly see that is not the case whatsoever. Needing to hold on to these guns. Kenny with not too much in the bank balance. The loss bonus, of course, is only going to be that 1400. So is important for the later stages of this game. Now with the scoreline 9 to 2, about to be 9 to 3, you're like, yeah, chase them, take those guns out of their hands, you know, get get stuck in or go for some exits. Why aren't you going for the retake? Both teams, the economy's not established right now. If Rogue go for this, they lose everything. We might get towards the tail end of the half and what looks like a 9-3 scoreline could very easily be a 9-6. The tail end of this half here will define just how much confidence we're going to be getting from complexity going into the defensive side of their map pick. I mean, don't make no mistake, though it does look pretty harrowing now. I kind of have... A lot of confidence in the fact that that CT side can get lo as locked down as Heroics has. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think here what we're seeing right now is just some very uh, aggressive CS across the board from Heroic. But then after they get that opening kill in space, they're just playing very reserved. So we're getting the best of everything right now. Fast mid again. Oh, that's, that's nice important. One. Poison actually using that Tracer Fire to track his first blood. T side orping. Haven't seen too much of that from Poison. Let's see if he can continue to convert impact frags. Tessus oh. loses his life. That's huge from Rush. Oh. He accelerates in. Oh, they in. check it. Trigger discipline. The transfer is glorious. And Refresh may not be done. Poison and sure he is. Just Cadian then in a 1v3. And so disconnected from the pack, he will accept his fate. So Cole, two in a row. Yeah, and that bank that I was just talking about is starting to be battered down and broken. You would consider after this spree of rounds, they should have plenty of money to work with. It's going to be 1,900 in the next. They should be able to cobble together a buy, considering it is heroic. They can make almost anything work. And Kadian will get plenty of room to hold on to this AWP. So what we can do right now is just take a quick little look at some of the stat lines, I suppose. You want to know who's doing the most utility damage, Alex? I know you get pretty interested in those bits mm, and bobs. Tell me, tell me. Right now, it's going to be Stown. He's uh, leading the pack, 223. You got Shush just under him, 212 and 133 for Kadian. So lots of utility damage coming out on the heroic side of things. And maybe that's indicative to why the scoreline is currently 9 to 4, because it's a bit harder to do utility damage on the T side. Yeah, uh, certainly. <laughs> you got Blame F with 24, Ooh. JKS with 104, and uh, the rest of his team have done no utility damage so far. So. We'll a valiant it attempt. It was a valiant attempt, but just too many players and too little time. Okay. So this buy is looking okay. Stown can purchase if he wants to go that second orb. There's no worries right there. He's gone for the rifle instead. This is where Heroic can get themselves double digits after this. Ooh, it's not going to be looking too good whatsoever. Quick connector smoke, quick window, quick cat smoke. Everything's out here fast for complexity to defame this mid control that they've been getting away with. Yeah, I think Tessus is actually believing it. Unless he swings out. He does. Back to clear. <laughs> A's open right now. If complexity go, there's a huge gap. It's only Shush and he knows he's been a hero. They will smoke Palace, but oh, they're disrespecting it. He still manages to catch one. Disappears back through the smoke. Like a ghost. Tessus has a chance. So does Config. Needs a second and delivers it too. Big as complexity. Seize control of this T side. Oh, not done yet. Down. Refresh holds the line. Perfect. Through smoke and box. Now Cadian's found another. Where has this gone wrong? The rug pulled from underneath them and the tenth put on the board. Everyone delivers. That is so awkward. That was looking great. Config gets two huge ki kills. I'd be taking a timeout just to understand what happened. Yeah, piece that one together. I think we'll try. So this is the double kill. So they have sight control after Config gets these two, right? Kadian got an orb kill onto Config. So this is to here. He's walking through the jungle smoke. Stown takes down JKS while planting, I think. And Refresh caught someone else. Yeah, and then Blame F is, Blame F is left in a one on three. So uh, what? yeah, all right. 
Well, that's three of the timeouts for complexity gone here within the first half. If this gets close and we get, you know, down to the wire in the second, they're only going to have one timeout to work with. So they should be frustrated with that one there, complexity. That was their chance to seal up what could have been the 9-6 half. Best they can do now is 10-5. Both teams will have a bye going into the final round of play here. Oh, they're going to feel pretty hard done by after that one. Sodium levels starting to rise. Cadian to challenge out Blame. And Blame, as we've discussed, has been very impactful when he goes for these entry frags up mid. Poison previously has succeeded in the role. And they've got four leading apps, so it will be an intriguing one. Oh, Rush, he's trying to pip a gap here, and it's actually pretty damn good. He's taking a lot of space. At such a heavy price, but he is into the site, making space. His team converts. Config takes a bit of early team damage. JKS and Blame are into the site. Bomb not quite committed. An AWP and low HP for JKS. He's been quite... Oh, yeah, yeah, the timing, and he loses his life as he drops the flame. I dropped the bomb as well into the site. Doesn't even matter. 11. Damn. Heroic. I've got some serious pace behind him right now, Chad. I just can't wait to see what happens next. CT side for Cole after the break.
The two top dogs of Group A, FreeSL Pro League's 13th season. A heroic in complexity and now duking it out for the top spot. Throw in fists. Heroic have certainly started with windmills. They are just spinning their way to the win. 11 coming into the T side of their opponent's map pick. I've got Chad Burchill for all of the analysis and goodness. That Australian accent soothing you through your evening. I'm machine. I'm just a bit weird. We've got a pistol round though, and I'm intrigued to see how the... Sh is it a smoke? Yeah, it is. Cadians grab one. A single smattering of utility. They've got a mid hold at the moment. This is going to get chaotic quickly. Do they run boost or they, do they just wait? There's the run boost set up. Shush about to be launched into space. Ooh, oh, damn, poison. Very quick. First blood found. Click of his mouse finds the run boost D. No, run booster. Yeah. 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 He's not checking it. Oh, a little bit. Config's messed his shot up. This gets awkward now. He's lost his life as well. They're on to B. Oh no, and Poison's catching flak. Does well to find another head. Just oh. one more required. He can't deliver it. Gets awkward. JKS has a smoke and a kick. Can't afford to lose his life here. He's caught refresh. Cadian's flanking. And Shush is hitting every damn shot he takes. Just JKS. Oh, he's aware. He thinks about the flank. He's considered it. Plant isn't the end of the world for... Mr. Savage, fake from Shush. Gets the info, Cadian closing his grip here, and JKS, oh, what a shot! He checks the flank, full sense of oh! That's so beautiful! Nice stuff, complexity, gifted! The fifth round on the board, thanks to JKS. He ripped the bloody wrapping off that one right there. That was a lovely shot, and you could see just the indication he was aware a flank was always possible. KD and up to his regular tricks. This one right here was great. It felt like the avenue into B was completely open. So Poison's opening kill, that one to swap. Look at this, though. Mm. That was crispy. And this one here as well, you could just see he's always aware that there was somebody could be flanking. KD and gets flatlined, and now that's a piss around for complexity. Maybe it's what they need, but the force buy is out. And let's see how they can respond. Kadian came into this second half only dying four times. The same amount of rounds they lost. 18 kills. He has been having a banger yeah. of a group. Not just this map. He has been playing some lights out CS. He truly has. I mean, his, his stats don't lie. Like, he has just truly been delivering in fl the most flash assists, the most AWP frags, opening kills. This, this man is no slouch individually. Playing his brand of Counter-Strike at the highest level. Large contracts housing the complexity name. Big names to be tested here on the B site. A force buy, putting all of their coins into an early aggressive buy to destabilize and seize control of mm, the momentum. Oh, good smoke. That's going to allow Rush to play a little bit more forward here and just stalling it out are heroic. So with one minute left on the clock, they still have those smokes you were talking about for this B execute. Shush is going to keep them honest with that one Deagle bullet over towards A. Cadian's had complete mid control. Right now, Complexity have just parked the bus here. Move that bus. Calm before the storm. 40 seconds. You can see Config's looking for short info and apps. Oh, here we go. That's going to be the signal. They start waving the green flag. Get into the site. Config holds them at arm's length temporarily. Quickly, bodies dropping. Long range from blame. Just refresh remains. Bomb loose on the site. They rotate in through kitchen, looking to cook up trouble. He's got no idea where they are. He's so lost right now. Dude, but they're actually aggressive. Both of them have pushed into the site. And that's the end of that. Yeah, so that was very risky, right? I guess they wanted to deny that plant. The round has already been very costly. The bomb going down it would mean maybe Heroic would go for another force by scenario. Refresh right there. He thought that there'd be more cavalry. It's not like Heroic refreshed where your teammates are everywhere you are all the time. You could see how drawn out Complexity were. And when I said park the bus, it was just a passive maneuver from Complexity. They were waiting for Heroic to make the move. If you reflect on what we saw Heroic doing in the first half on their CT side of rounds, even the anti-ecos like this, they're a little bit more aggressive. Now that they've been able to stabilize and it will just be these pistols, the Deagle for refresh, everybody else with those Glocks, maybe we'll see a bit more aggression out of Complexity now. Big nade onto Tessus there within the early stages. Second one going to be too deep, but Poison set up. Okay, quick maths. 600, 1200 does go down. But... Oh! <laughs> Got any more for us? Oh, he actually has hit another. Fires off a shot towards Config. This is a tiny, narrow slither gap. You'd think he'd be punished. There's a nade. Not too much damage, actually. JKS wants to pick this. You can see him just creeping yeah. to help his teammates <laughs> just tapping here. tapping W every three, few seconds. Smoked off now. So, uh, look, with a minute and 10 left on the clock, Refresh already having kills. 
He can just slow it down and go for more. Config's going to lock the door on this by rotating around T-Spawn, but the damage to the economy is still possible. If Refresh can get anything, another kill, that'd be great. And denied. Config rips his head off, fast as you like, and now the scoreline 11 to 7. Think how quick that 11 to 4 scoreline has been evaporated. Think how fast it's going to feel like this is a game with uh, a lot of legs to it if Complexity win this first gun round here. And... Textbook. Textbook. Love to Textbook. see it. Really lovely. It's good damage, of course, and I mean, I want to highlighting those SMG frags. You can see what Poison's done with that. He manages to get all the extra cash. He couldn't have dreamed of a better scenario. He spent 7,550 bloody dollars. So keep your eyes on Poison. It's a bit of a prize pig. Oh, Cadian's going with the MAC-10. I think they're going fast. Oh, and they are. Refresh has been met by bullets. JKS mows down the aggressors. More to come. Shush's head perhaps even spotted as he angles himself for multiple duels. He's doing it all on his own here. Smoke on ramp. Out comes Cadian. This is an important frag, and now a chance. Poison denies. Oh, and Poison sends them packing. Get out of the server. That's complexity taking an eighth and taking it quick. 1 minute 27 yeah. as the round concludes. I, I liked it. I, I just noticed that KD and uh, purchased into the MAC-10 because he could have afforded an AWP right there. I've noticed I've right. got, okay, well, they're not going to go with a standard round here if he hasn't picked up the AWP or an AK. It meant something a little bit different was going to be in the mix. JKS completely unraveled this with those two, right? The bombs drop there. Poison is the safety net behind him to catch anything that tries to slip the net through Palace and up Tetris. Does it with ease. And now that AWP will come out for KD. And so we can go into a bit more of a slow situation as i say slow everybody over towards b some fake utility over towards mid refresh is setting up that second wave onto the b bomb site rush to be tested with the famous and config well he's the next rotation point over towards short it's been a tough one for rush dead silence falls and as that smoke fades, I imagine there is going to be the first wave. Window smoked. Config reacts. Only rush for the info here. The Danish Vikings prepare to maraud into the B site. Scuffs his shots. Kadian punishes. Config steps up to the plate. Needs to knock him out. Does find another. Buys time for blame. Fills the feed for one of his own. Conflict's doing it all, though. It's only Cadian, and they know exactly where you are. Smoke to avoid any pesky incendiaries, and he oh. has hit his first shot, but the uh, incendiary's there. Flames on the floor at nine for Complexity. They are speed running their way back into a competitive game here, Chad. Yeah, it's quickly turned on its head right here. And you were mentioning Rush. Yeah, he's been having a tough one on the T side. He was making a lot of space, but wasn't Worse. getting the kills. And now here on the CT side, it feels like every time he just moves out of position, they're appearing. Config mops up the mess, able to convert a couple of big kills there. And now this is where some questions have to be asked for Heroic. I spoke about those three timeouts used in the first half for Complexity. Maybe Heroic will need to take one of their own. And that's exactly what we're in right here, talking through their options. Money's not great by any means. So what's the conversation entail? Enough for a half buy, enough to get some deagles, maybe keep this one costly because the economy over there for complexity, it hasn't really gotten out of control so far. At the high end, we've got Blame F, you got Poison just under him, but there's a couple of members of complexity who are still trying to lock in that uh, extra cash to secure some buys going forward. So it will be a partial investment, keeping around that 2K mark for Heroic. Lost bonus now, maxed on out. Getting that bomb down, getting a couple of kills. That'll be name of the game, but maybe they could even steal one away. Early utility towards B, acting as a fake. Now fast towards underpass, and... Oh, they already made it under window. Yeah, not bad. Good need. And Blame deals with it. Has Config in tow. Not a single body able to cross his line. He draws it in the sand and says no. Well, I know where Stown is as well now. He shot two bullets, as you can see right there. How many did he get, Chad? One and a half. Calling in two. Yeah, let's do X-ray off. That's fun. Spots out one. Anticipates the swing. Oh, it's good for the first. Looking for his second as they do swing out from stairs, but can't quite connect it. 10 now found, and we are into Complexity's terrain now. This is their turf, and it's heroic that are on the back foot, starting to wobble. Seeds of doubt start to be planted, watered with every passing round. 
All six of those passing rounds have been won by elimination. The bomb has not gone down so far for Heroics. The fact they're not getting into these sites Ooh. is worrying. That's, means... a, that's a renegade style T side. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, look, if, if Heroic, we spoke, we speak about it, we joke about it. If you've been catching us through Group A, you know, they put the objective of killing their opponent as number one as opposed to getting that bomb on down. But so far here, they're struggling at that as well. Config just across the line there with the secondary AWP. This will be a hard shot to hit. Yeah, I'm not so convinced, but with a missed shot, Kadian tucking in. That's enough for Config. Not interested in a repeat. Don't blame him. Poison's filling the gap. He'll be responsible for middle, but expect you till Tessa's holding his. Kadian says, I'll do the job. Nade right on their noggin. Good damage there. And take a quick look at the radar. You can see how passive Shush is over towards T spawn. So there's no indication they want to go towards A here. If there's any push from JKS towards that ramp, you might get some info. And the caster curse is real as Shush now starts to take some territory back with a minute and 10 left on the clock. Heroic are trying to hide in plain sight here. Allowing them to maybe jiggle peek mid, call it clear, because they're tucked in behind that box, not giving any indication they're going for mid control. The bomb is still down top mid, so some real questions to be asked here from Heroic. Going to boost through this window. Molotov, you hold the light. Late. He's holding it. Soon as Stown mantles up, that will be obscured. He'll unload oh. his mag. Blame falls away. Stown still standing. Vision restored. They're going. Poison. What? Loses his life. And now the timing punishes Blame. It's all heroic. For the first time this half, it's looking great for the Danish roster. Rush struggles to finish his meal. Refresh gets away. I'm still coming a ramp. There's time for... Certainly. Place. Very audible. They know this is coming. Wait, what? He's pushing straight through. Trying to punish his damage. It may be too much for Config to handle. They are low, but with an AWP, I mean, where's the damage supposed to come from? You can't scope or do anything here. That sound cue now is going to be a massive problem. Oopsie oh. daisy, that's enough for him. Mind the scope. <laughs> oh. Just make a step. <sighs> Refresh might actually catch him. Yikes. All right. Heroic, they're on the board. They got the bomb down and they won the round. So there we go. The key to success, maybe it's discovered. And I want to talk more about Refresh because this is the second game in a row where I've seen him towards the top of the scoreboard for Heroic. And he had some, some quiet games as he was integrated into this roster. He was playing his part, but it seems that he's finding his comfort zone now. He's more got a more of an affinity for the role that was required of him and finding his own ways to put some flavor on it. Yeah, I think when you're a player like him who labels himself as the X factor, in the early stages when you join a team, you probably want to toe the line until yeah. you understand hey, I can overstep here or I can go for a play like this and my teammates will be able to make up for it. But Blame F trying to make up for last round. Lovely. Aggressive up mid. Tessus goes down and finally some CT-sided aggression out of complexity. Yeah, and it's the first time we've seen it in some time. Cole, however, didn't need it for the first six rounds of this half. Refresh. Look at the space. The X-Factor himself. Dinks rush, but he's still standing. The American needs at least another. And he's fighting with Kadian, but so quick. What? A strafe and a shot puts another one on the board for Kadian. Yeah, and it continues. Oh. Burning, trading with the flames. My goodness. Into the guts of B. Two on two. So much time. A wingman game with such bigger implications. Both no blames coming. Great angle held, and look how quickly and with such conviction he chooses to whip out that bomb. JKS. Off angle held by Cadian. Chance and damage inflicted. He knows Cadian He's already clutched up once on that pistol. And more damage. He continues to whittle away. It's down. They're so low now. Oh. AKS so threatening, but Cadian even more so. Another round stolen. Heroic posting two in a row. That skirmish on the B side, that could be the difference maker here in this game because money now broken over there for complexity and, and 13 rounds on the board for Heroic. Who was it but Refresh who makes yeah. all of that space? I mean, we, talk, we talked about Rush and his role. Refresh did the same thing, just straight out the window, forcing all those heads to turn. And just before the flash popped, Kadian held his line and pulled the trigger. Damn, that was a close one. Yeah, all that damage, right? Refresh, uh, sorry, Rush was so close to getting a second kill on that side as well. You saw him behind the flame, spamming away, unable to convert it. And them dropping that round means Complexity need to take their last time out. So they still have a lot of rounds to play here if you're Complexity. You're not going to be able to take this liberty to check in with Keita, have a breath for 30 seconds. That's been gone, unless Heroic take the timeouts for you. This is what I was talking about. If you missed the start of the first half, or the second half, excuse me, this is JKS putting complexity back on the map. And you can see that they've really, you know, picked up that momentum and ran with it. Round 24 leaves us at 13 to 10. Config 
impact as well as he filled the shoes of the lost to be defender. And that was the shot. Damn, I didn't see that the first time from his POV. Refresh finds four in this round. Even hunting for that saving orb. Really, really good stuff so far. Great stuff on the replay ops. It's one of those things, you know, it's like you don't notice it when it's perfect. You only notice it when it's not. Yeah, that's true. And uh, this buy from Complexity is uh, so far from perfect. Unfortunately, they've had to swallow this bit of pill, right? Just down to these upgraded pistols. Blame F and Rush with Deagles. JKS to a 5-7. And they're actually going to push through Palace here. So this will be called clear. Right now, there are some huge gaps across the map as all five members from Heroic are over leaning towards the B side. Couple towards mid, couple in the B apartments. The space being taken, it doesn't really account for a lot unless this happens. The heavy rotation over towards B. Are you, uh, are you part of the 5-7 gang, Chad? I don't mind the 5-7. Um, I, I think that... Uh, I, I'm not in love with it as much as I should be. You know, it just seems like it should be the best pistol in the game. 20 bullets. 20 bullets. Gun. Pretty damn good headshot fall off. Better than that bloody CZ-75. P250 is cheaper and feels like it kind of does the same thing. But look at this flank. Conversation's over. They need AKS to wants to start his own. careful here when they start shooting. Yeah, choosing when to pull the trigger. Like the fact that Shush did just take a intermittent turn. Tessus has been found out, gets the info. And even the frag, he couldn't have a better weapon for the job, Chad. Yeah, and they're going to think there's a lot more behind this, but it is just Tessa. So four eyes drawn right now. Make it eight eyes. Perfect. Look at him. He single-handedly pulled an entire team to his side of the map and elsewhere. A clean round from Heroic. So, Chad, we're going to have to see complexity take some initiative here, right? Yeah, and I don't mind the fact that they're playing these really static rounds at the start where they're giving a lot of space to Heroic because you don't never know if they're going to go fast. You never know if there's an explosive play coming behind your early smokes. But the difference is, and it's very night and day, if you noticed Heroic on their, their, their first half, they would try and take space back. They would go for a look mid to late round when they weren't quite sure. But they would do it as a team. It wasn't done as individuals. There was always a pairing. There was always a flash. Complexity are just hoping that their individuals can stand and deliver. And so far, in these last few rounds, they haven't been able to do so. Rush is going to get a Consolation Frag, left on 17 points of health. They may as well let him live or let him die with the bomb. I didn't want to say anything because you said 17 points of health. I was like, I don't know exactly. I mean, it just looked pretty, pretty far away. Running, I did. No, no, dude. I mean, literally. Get out of there. No, I'm just saying it like it looked like he was, uh, he was safe. Look how far away from the bomb he was. 17 damage enough, though, and that's him gone. Here's, a, here's the indication it might be another fast round at a heroic. Stown has purchased in to a MAC-10. He has plenty of money, ladies and gentlemen. 6K left in the bank. Ooh, and four of them do have no helmet. B, it looks like another B. They are punishing Rush in this B bomb site time and time again. And it's, it's got all pace in. to it. It's got some serious pace to it. Rush, what are you made of? Eats a flash. Tucked in. They're already out. He goes one for one. Config, that is a favorable exchange. Quickly, ransack tennis. Tessus into the site and the bomb, will it go down? Can't really contest it from Kitchen. Smoke available, Poison catches the aggressor. Kadian shut down. One on three emerges for Tessa, should. Be nothing more to say about this one. Gives it. They're pushing in behind that, they're getting very pushy. Ooh, over that Molotov, obscured vision. All right, well they hold on, complexity. Managed to scrape another gun round through. Rush did more than he was asked of there, I think. When you're getting rushed down like this, he was blind when he's holding onto this position on the ledge. Steps out, gets one, right? The fact that he gets one is great. He's done his job. One and dead, that gives Config the chance to grab another. Same situation happened, and then, well, Tessus. Didn't think they needed the cash. It's Felt the like right call. Hadian's death was the one that really kind of lost the, uh, the wind out of the sails there. Poison just holding quite a awkward and an often or not so often seen angle. They're going towards B again, Alex. It just, it feels like Heroic are doing a, a B execute simulator right now. Yep, just another day in the server. Just like the dry runs, except, you know, the stakes are for the top spot in your group. Oh, the rotation is very far away this time. Very far away. Here they come. Refresh, so blind, and executed config. I'm getting deja vu, I've seen this before. Flame's not moving still. Rush does convert. Config tucks in, more damage from the B defenders. Complexity are passing this test. They've even spotted out Kadian. No element of surprise here. I say that as he considers jumping through that. Window. Of course he does. Oh, element of surprise is back. It's on the menu. Oh my God. It might be a chance. Tess is trying to keep the attention drawn. Poison's oh not looking. Oh my God. This is kooky. Config 
loses his life. They're so damn low, but he's got the... Wait, what? Poison? Poison! Uh, needs to hit his shot, and he does. Quick reactions from the Orpa, and he digs himself out of trouble. Woof. Biggest gun for the job there. There was 19 points of health between the two of them, but Poison picks up both. And now... A bit of, a bit of overkill on those 50 caliber rounds. Yeah, well, 14 to 12. Money back, middle of the pack, but Heroic are going to buy. This is great stuff. If you want to keep going B, and they're starting to deal with your executes. They're getting confidence now on that side of the map, and you are not conditioning complexity over towards mid. You're not conditioning over towards A whatsoever. JKS, he's having a really easy time. He's like, okay, that's fine. I don't need to do anything on A. Yeah, Blaine wants to test the mid just early. See a lot of players do this, Orpers especially, but he's actually choosing to hold the line. Then lets them walk into his crosshair. And Kadian, contact, off the flash, and poison's gone. Textbook. Spots him. Config in trouble, has to stand and fight. Doesn't deliver. Too early fi fights won by Heroic. Complexity could be staring down the barrel of 15 unless the remaining three have got it in them. Oh, they've lost so much space here and the bomb is coming back to B. So if you thought there wasn't enough punishment over towards the B side, the opening on A and now <laughs> Rush, he has to watch two positions with a Famous. No utility to stop with smokes, no mollies, nothing of the sort. Oh. What are you going to do? Oh, and Rush has been found. Tensus Patience puts a second frag on the board for him. Ten assists as well. This dude has been contributing. It has to be a save, though, Alex. It's, it's a tough save to accept your fate, but you definitely want to be putting your best foot forward in defense of map point. Yeah, the loss bonus right now. It's only going to be 1,400 for complexity going into what may be the final round of play. If Blame goes down, if JKS goes down, it's a nightmare. JKS is alert. And he controls his spray. Just. Just enough. Just enough. Aha. Look at Blame just uh, saving in middle. Just yeah. in the middle of mid. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight, dude. He's hearing a lot. It's like prop hunt. He's turned himself into a diffuse kit. And he's, he's standing very still. Not anymore. Finding himself. Tessus on the way out. Oh, dude, kadian has got you booked. <laughs> well, he, he at least let J JKS survive there, right? He drew all the eyes to him because they would have been hunting over towards Palace to take True. out JKS. So, look, it's probably not what Blame wanted, but at least one of them lives. It's one weapon for the job, and it is the only weapon that they'll be bringing into defense of map point. Three map points available for Heroic. This was a nasty death for Rush to concede, especially as they're all grouping and gathering towards the apartments. He goes looking for info. And gets a whole lot more. Almost 30 for Kadian now, and, well, he might even get it against this mismatch by Scout. He's just Seven been having eight. good game after good game, Kadian. And it's Config with some damage, and long range, Blame will enable the trade. With them a half HP, so there is some good damage done on mid. Complexity to hope they can corral them into these choke points. Still no rush here from Heroic. In these situations, when you know you're up against the lighter buy, when you know you have complexity on the back foot, you can take it slow because exactly JKS needs to push. He needs some info, has to take a bit of a risk here. And now it's going to be up close and personal towards the A ramp. Shush, very inquisitive with these jiggles, not taking any risks here. But this fight could be the undoing of Heroic's round. They think they have the space. This could change it all. JKS is ready. Shush standing in the safety of that. Potential shadow info, info. Chases it and converts it. Three on three though, 45 seconds. Well, they know where the saved M4 was. It's yeah. unlikely JKS... Poison's leaning the right, the right way. Times. It's only a scout though, dude. Don't forget, JKS is still going to have a lot of pressure on his shoulders, especially oh, if Stown threads this needle good damage from the hip the scout connects down working with 27 rush only a desert eagle a kevlar vest gonna do his kevlar best poison is there attack from the scout is crucial he hasn't hit it but he lives on tested now on the deagle hits his crucial headshot stown has gone too converts off the earlier tag it's an hour to Cadian oh, wow. to clutch one-on-one -on -one. fakes it out waiting for justin oh spots him jks knows no time for the plant he has to hit the oh! he does I'll see you later alligator heroic take mirage a dominant first half tested in the second could be competitive into our second map but that's their pick complexity let their map slip away